So you want to build your first cabinet, but you think that, hey, I don't have those fancy tools. Well, let me take you on the journey on how I got my cabinet built by myself with no fancy dancy tool. So let me take you on the journey as we go to the lumber yard. All right, so here I am at the lumber yard and I am looking for a particular board that I need to do this um, cabinet. The board that I'm looking for has to be um, waterproof and termite proof as well. And here I have my drawings with my measurements that I am going to use to have the lumber yard cut the boards to my specification. So there are some places that you can go and you have your specifications and you can get them to cut the board for you. I prefer it this way because I it tends to be a little cleaner until I can grasp that um, cutting off the board on my own. So I do have a circular saw and a jigsaw, but I prefer to go to the lumber yard and get it cut by this ama these amazing workers. So here I am linking up with my brethren. Um, he's adjusting the machine to get those cuts up and running. So watch and see how he was able to do that. And at the end of the video, you will see the finished product. Now, there are certain preparations that you have to do in advance before you go and get your measurement cut. Of course, you will have to know what style cabinet that you're doing and then you will draw to your measurement. And of course, like sewing, you know, you're going to need your allowance as well. Because if you're putting the door, it depends on how you're putting in the door and whether you're hanging it um, over or you want it flush. For this particular door, it will be hung over. So I will have to put in an allowance for that. And it is based on the size of the board that you're using, the thickness of the board rather, whether it's quarter or half of an inch. Always say to measure twice and cut once so you want to make sure that your measurement is accurate and this is what we are doing here to ensure that the measurements are on par so that we are able to cut the board the accurate way so after a long day at the lumber yard wrapping up things there ensuring that we're getting the board cut then it will be time to head on out and get the board put together and that is coming up shortly so stay tuned as we work on our project so now it's time to put our board together to get that amazing cabinet let's get this going so here we're doing the measurements for what we call the toe kick. So the toe kick is the area under the cupboard that allows you when you're heading towards the cupboard not to hit your toe. So toe kick. All right. So usually these are around three feet um, by three feet. So you want to cut out a, a, a small square three feet by three feet at the bottom of your cabinet. So that is what I am doing there. So once you have done your toe kick, now it's time to measure from where you would have cut out the toe kick to the end of the baseboard. This measurement will be used to cut the support board that you will be putting the shelf, that's the base shelf on. So this is what the shelf will rest on. So you cut out that measurement and of course you will need two of those. So here I am with my jigsaw. Look at your girl. Yes, gotta get the hair out the way, get in position, and it's time to cut. Yes, flush the hair out the way again. Yeah, all right, time to cut. Let's do this. Boy, the hair keeps bothering me. All right, so let me tie it up and let's get this on the road. Yes, yeah, man, you're ready. All right, here we go. So this is the 3x3 three three small section to facilitate the toke. And of course you will need two of these, one for the left and one for the right. So now it's time to cut the uh, supporting board that will hold the base shelf together. Mm -hmm. 
now watch as we put this cupboard together so it is happening right here And voila, here you go. Now this is two cabinets, but together you can make, um, based on your design with drawers, or you can make it with just the doors. And we have primed this. Now you can add whatever color you wish. I've seen some colors like green, I've seen blue, I've seen gray. Let me know in the comment section. And um, what would you paint this in?